What is going on everyone and welcome to a special video that we're going to be doing today. Uh, so I kind of do this every few months just to kind of see where everything is on the central market. Well, this would actually be the first time I'm doing it for the central market. Uh, what we're going to be doing is just going through everything, seeing what ridiculous prices of just everything is. Um, a lot of you guys seem to give good feedback last time. Uh, so while we do that, we're just going to go cook some grilled bird because I need... I think I'm running out, so. Anyway, don't mind this while we're going in the background. Oh, they actually changed it out. So, yesterday I was talking about this. You know how before I used to have like a black border? I, I like the new one. It looks nice. They could have gotten rid of, you know, the little dot thingies here and just made it like that. But whatever. That's beside the point. It looks nice. All right, anyway. So, the idea of this series is... We're just kind of going through everything in like 30 minutes and seeing what the prices are, what are the like high demand items or just like making fun of the curves and graphs that we see of stupid things going up and down. It's kind of fun. Uh, so we already know before we start anything that it's kind of broken. Like if we were to look at the volatile item prices, we know that blue tier items aren't even in the game anymore so that's something they have to fix the pen dandy for this it's been sitting there for forever but anyway um so let's look at the important things first zarkas um so it's kind of weird how we're gonna have to click all of these manually before we could just search like pen or tet and see all of them uh, so with the recent announcement of the roadmap, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. Um, a lot of streamers are talking about it and all this stuff, and we're allowed to. So basically, what's going to happen in quarter two, they're coming out with all these different things. You could read it on the site as well. Um, Doom Horse is coming out. Star Grave, which is the new area to get the Black Star Bow, or not Bow, just Black Star Weapon is like the thing above uh, Zarka's and Offens. And then we're getting the underwater grind spot. It's somewhere above Felia in the ocean. We heard of it. It's pretty cool. It's supposed to be like a really high-end grind spot that we will probably not be going to anytime soon because we are not like super, super geared like the re other people. But And then there's a lot of other stuff like a group PvE content. We don't really know too much about it. They said they're going to come out with Monos tools for NA and EU. I don't really have high expectations. I'm looking forward to it if it does come out, but whenever, honestly. So yeah, right now there's an event. People uh, are all fishing and stuff. The Koi event is back. Well, it's not called Koi. It's some like pearl mullet thingy, but basically it's the same thing as the Koi event. Um, so with the announcement of Black Star weapons, people, you need three. Uh, boss weapons, so like Zarka, Nuber, Dandy, and you're gonna have to do some sort of quest to combine and buy it. So I did buy mine earlier, even though I like I, you just need a base three, so like it could be three Zarkas, three Nuvers, three Dandies, combination of those. But I think the cheapest ones right now are the Zarkas. So if you can buy a base one, this is why all the bases are sold out. Well, except for that one, but that will be sold out soon. Um. We don't know when it's coming out, but people are just buying them. So, yeah. It's kind of... I kind of look at this every now and then and just check, like, what is sitting on the market, what's at a higher rate, and what's not. And we're kind of wondering why. So, there's a lot of pen amulets sitting for some reason. Well, actually, this is the highest price I've ever seen. If I were to have bought a pen uh, Zarka... How much would I have paid for it? The answer is probably about 15 bill max. And that's kind of at a high point too. So I think amulets are the highest Zarka price for some reason. So that's why there's a lot of them just sitting. We also saw a blade going for 16 billion. So I guess if someone wanted to buy it, they would buy this one. Uh, unfortunately, since I play a Dark Knight... Ours has actually probably the lowest price I've ever seen. Like, you know how you just saw one, an amulet, for about 17 billion? 
It's that upper 20 limit. Yeah. So look at that. It goes up all the way to 21.7. Dark Knights. At a nice 8.5 billion. If that doesn't give Prolibus any sign of which classes are wanted and which ones aren't, well. But I'm kind of surprised that the Zarka staff isn't higher up there. I would assume more people want to play uh, Witch Wizards. As for Noovers, I don't really see too many. I, I've seen Pen Noovers sit before, yeah. So I'm I'm just really happy that I got all my pens out of the way. I even made them myself. You guys can watch those enhancing videos. And then I think the honestly the only reason the pen ornamental knot is so expensive is because Zerkers use it. If it was just for Dark Knights, this would not be at a 13.5 build base. But Zerkers are good, Dark Knights are not, <laughs> so that's why it's a uh, higher up. If I were to guess though the more I don't know why well actually I do witches and wizards are popular that's why they're pen sitting for that one um, striker mystic ones in terms of other pen boss weapons I've seen for Kudum the only other one I've seen was the pen bam brace at 13.8 I I considered saving up to buy a pen Kudum at some point, but then I was like, how much do I really care? Because I have a Tet right now, and the difference between Tet and Pen would be like four bonus AP to monsters and then like two, uh, two AP sheet. So is that worth 13 bill? Not really. I, I don't really grind that much to make it worth it. I grind maybe like, I don't know. If I'm not feeling lazy, it would probably be like three hours a day, in which that's not a lot. So, as for dandelions, um, the ones I've seen are the cestus. Those sit, that pen. Oh, actually, they're all gone. One, did someone actually buy them all? Oof. Well, there were some at, sitting at 20 bill. Vediants, of course, are at a low price compared to everything else. That was the first ever pen dandy I made. Witch wizards. Everything else is like significantly more expensive. <laughs> I wonder are there striker dandies? No, I don't think. I wish you could search for like pen. Like I, I don't want to have to keep clicking all over this. I know a lot of my guildies are playing archers and or making an archer alt, and. I enjoyed playing my archer to 58, but I was just kind of over it real quickly. The first two weeks it came out, that's when I played it. And archer does some really good damage in node wars and sieges, but they're just not that fun for me to play. That's unfortunate. So let's see what's next on our list of things. Um. Yeah, let's look at pen armors. So dim tree, I don't expect any pens to be sitting. This is this is something I do want to go for, like literally any pen armor. I think I saw a few pen bags yesterday. I don't know if they're still sitting. Yeah, there's one more for 13.3 or 13.2. Is that a good price? I don't know. Honestly, when it comes to pen armor, it's like I don't know how much I would pay for one. But, um, yeah, I guess maybe, like, I plan on making them all eventually. And when I say eventually, I mean within the next five years if I'm still playing this game. Let's see what else. A lot of people have also been asked me, Gaia vs. Griffin, and the answer is if you are playing a normal DR build, or like DP build, you know, Ergons and all the stuff, the standard Dim Tree bags and all the stuff. I would go Griffin Helmet that has more DP to stack, but the difference is so minimal that you really won't notice it. Uh, if someone's going to one shot you, it doesn't really matter what you have, you're going to get wrecked by either one. 
Yikes. Uh, so yeah, I would say that Griffin Helm is technically better than Gaieth, but the difference is so minimal to the point where, like, if you had to pick one, I would go, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, if you're just now starting the game and you see a Gaieth helmet first, just get that one. It doesn't really matter. Also, their pen is sitting there. Uragon. Tet. Okay. Muskin. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that uh, there aren't many, because uh, I see a lot of people playing more evasion builds these days. So, kind of surprised that there aren't any pens sitting. Heave Helms, this is if you are going full evasion, that means Muskin, Liebers, and all that stuff. I still do want a Liebers Gloves, I just don't really want to pay, like, some ridiculous price. If I get it off a Night Vendor for, like, 100 mil or something, 150 mil, I'd probably buy it, but I just can't see myself spending 200 on the gloves that I probably won't use. Um... Accessories, this is where the fun part begins. At this point, I'm actually going for either another Crescent Guardian at Tet or an Eye of the Ruins. Preferably an Eye of the Ruins if it's not stupidly expensive. Um, but yeah, Tet Crescent is 5.5-ish. You guys have seen some of my older videos where I'm just like blowing up. Try Crescent's going for Tet and it just keeps failing over and over again it makes me kind of sad one day then Tungrad earrings this is like I'm actually kind of scared to enhance this because saving up 2.5 billion is like for me personally it's like two weeks of intense grinding and by that I mean like three hours a day every day for two weeks um Eye of the Ruins Rings. I don't really know if I can justify spending 1.5-ish for a t attempt. Because every time it fails, that's like a week of grinding that's just lit on fire. So at some point, I was either thinking of just saving for one, but I don't know. At some point, I do want to upgrade my Tet Bassi to a Be Tet Voltara. Don't really want to spend 2 billion or like 6 billion on it. I don't really want to enhance it either. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see what else. All accessories are sh like probably going to go up in price now that the Koi event has started. Um, so basically, the Koi event, you go AFK fishing, go to sleep, wake up Eight hours later, you have another 100 mil in your inventory, and multiply that by the entire population of this game, and everyone has a lot of money, so everything goes up in price. Let's see. You know what surprises me the most? It is... Tungrad belts. I don't really know why these are so expensive. I guess I don't even know where you get these actually. I think you get them at Gaifin, and no one grinds Gaifin anymore. But it's literally like three or four times as expensive for one extra AP. And to go from a Tet like Tet Basti, Tet Voltara to a Tet Tungrad is four, three times the price for one AP. I don't think that's worth it. It has to be one of those upgrades you make when you're already like full pen, full Tet circle accessories, and you just want that one more AP. And even then, it's like you could just capris your weapons and get eight, eight billion or so worth or worth of AP. So, I don't really know why this is so expensive. I guess if you really do want the best in slot stuff. 
this is where it is, but you would have to be like so far ahead past the 300 AP mark for this to actually matter. Or you could just get lucky and one click it, that also works too. Tungrad necklaces, you get them from Histria. Um, never. I never enhanced this, but maybe one day if we can get a tet, that'd be awesome. Can't particularly say I ever want to spend three billion on one, because it's literally the same as an ogre. It just gives extra Black Spirit Rage, but compared to that one, it is 1.2 billion more expensive. So, once again, late game upgrade, ogre, late in, just fine. Honestly, if I could choose between an Ogre or Layton, I would have choose Layton just because it looks cooler. They're exactly the same, it's just Layton looks cooler. And, um... Next, what else do we look at? What other earrings are there? Narc earrings... I considered them at some point, but for Dark Knights, you should really just go AP. Full AP monkey for Dark Knights. Those are going up in price. They used to be like 3.5 billion. They're probably going to go up to like 5 or 6. Uh, before, I would say 6 months ago, instead of getting Tungrad earrings, I probably would have gotten a Tet Blue Whale Molar. Just because it has the extra health on it. Uh, do I think it's really worth the money? I don't know, because this is kind of a dead-end upgrade. Sure, it technically is better than a tri tungrad earring, but when it comes down to like upgrading, uh, you want Tungrad earrings. So, this is good to get like soft cap with, and then, unless you could somehow make a pen, which is not easy to do, Witch's earrings, this is the low, or this is like the budget version of a Tungrad. Once again, dead end upgrade at Tet. Red coral earrings, I don't think many people use it anymore unless you're specifically trying to counter a certain build. I would say that Tet is, you know, if you can afford it, buy it, whatever. But. At this point, just go AP. Uh, in terms of the belts, we saw how the stupid price this is. Fasty belts. Oh, yikes, that's 5.3 bill. I don't know about all the rest of these. It's kind of money so easy to get in this game. Some other things that I've been looking at through time were all the alchemy stones. I personally already have my Bell's Heart. And I got mine for about like 6.7 a few months ago. Um, the price has kind of stayed the same. So, pretty much got the best in slot upgrade for me. Technically, this one is a little bit better if you were to have both of them. You could have like use the buff for the resplendent, then swap it out to the Bell's Heart to get the three AP sheet. But you have to do that every five minutes, and that's tedious. So I'm just happy with my Bell's Heart. Protection stone. One thing I did want was the resplendent alchemy stone of protection. Uh, I had so many opportunities to buy it, but I just never thought it was worth it at this time. And I'm at the point where it's like, do I still want it? And the answer is still a maybe. I don't know. But, um, maybe. And then these don't ever sell, or the resplendent ones don't ever sell. It's been four in, what, three, two years, or something like that. So if I ever saw that on the market, boy, I would sell some of my gear to buy it immediately, because you'll probably never see another one again. And yeah, I considered buying this one, but just not for one bill. That is not worth it. Some other things I wanted were 
like all the blue gear but then i heard there was yellow gear sometime uh, i think it's in korea but not north america and europe so it's like do i do i care about blue and i'll consider like buying or upgrading my horse gear today i get a dream horse and when will i get it who knows dude i can probably go on forever without ever getting one but if i were to pick one i would like a unicorn then i'll consider getting blue gear because right now i just have like standard green one that plus 10 and uh, blue one you'd have to get at like plus five and then upgrade it it's pretty much impossible to get a plus 10 unless you're actually failing on or like hitting it on ridiculously high stacks because it does downgrade just like normal gear does um so getting 10 is basically like hitting pen and you would not really want to do that on horse gear so i think most people stick with like plus six or seven ever since they announced the doom horse all the horse materials have been going downhill and just getting sold out all the crocodile stones are pretty much gone this when i click on this it's probably going to be a lot of orders oh two oh not bad but uh they announced doom horse we don't really know when it's coming out, but I'm at 14 stacks for Dream Horse attempts, and I really don't think that's a good number, but you know, RNG is RNG. At some point, I also wanted to get um, sailboat parts, but honestly, every time, the only reason I would use it is to go to Vel and we have the guild boat for that and I just go with my guildies so <laughs> it's like do I care not really if I ever wanted my own boat to just like sail the ocean someday I would do that but don't really care that much for it and plus nowadays you can actually buy a frigate and yeah there's just frigates and sailboats sitting on the market I remember back in the day when you had to make these yourself I made two of them and you know how many times I've used it three times in my entire BDO career so worth not really cool to have yeah let's see what else is there let's just see all the prices of the important stuff uh, gin vipers the most expensive thing you can get 200 mil is it worth buying I have no idea, but I've back in the day before Central Market, I've seen people pre-order them for like 500 million. So I personally made two Gin Vipers in about 16 attempts. That's a little bit more than 200 mil per. But you know, when you make it, this is what happens. Um, in terms of the Kobe's. I don't know because I hear a lot of different things these go in your armor chest piece and I was thinking about having two Jin Kobe's in the chest but then some other people were like hey just put dark dark red fang yeah some people were well like my guildies are like yeah just put the dark red fangs in your chest piece because it's technically more resistance and armor the thing you're trading for that is uh, the weight limit and health and the weight limit is irrelevant the health is okay um, but you get more DR and all resistance so is it good when I 1v1 guildies if they're gonna one-shot me and CC me I'm still going to die regardless so uh, I don't think either of them matters just get whatever one you like I've been testing the red fangs and they seem to be okay so what else is there oh yeah you guys have asked me like I could just show you my crystals right now so Nuver, we have the awakened spirit crystal and uh, critical hit Zarka we have two precisions this is like PvP crystals if you're PvEing you probably want to use something else oh, give me a second hold on got to start up uh, cooking thingy number two Oh my goodness, we're almost to the next level for processing. 
alchemy. Eh, screw trading. I'll probably never get it to artisan two anyway. Anyway, back on topic. What were we looking at? Hards and sharps. These everything's gonna go up in price soon. So, oh my God, they went up like 500k in a matter of 12 hours. Look at that, Papega chart graph thingy. What in the hell? Wow. This is what happens when you gather your own hards and sharps. You just kind of don't really notice much of the market because I bought 300 of these back when they were 1.4 during like the event when the price like bottomed out somewhere around like around here. And that's when I bought 300 of them and I went hard on trying to enhance my Nuver. And now that we're pretty much full pen weapons except for Akutum. Um, I don't sell my sharps. I just kind of hold on to them because I know that uh, Black Star weapons are coming out, and if you get a Tet Black Star, that's basically higher than a Penzarka. So I'm still gonna go for that at some point. So there's no point in selling my sharps and hards at this point. So I'll go for it eventually. We'll hope for the best. Memory fragments. 20k sitting on the market there's gonna be a lot more because people or the koi event we're, the, we're just gonna call it the koi event and people get memory fragments there's gonna be a lot of them price is gonna go down that's good if you like enhancing great sharps and hards are going up but memory fragments are going down so that's a thing what else pearl items it still amazes me what is that they changed the pictures. It just surprises me that costumes sit on the market. This is this is a not really a secret, but just a little tip for all of you guys. If you plan on croning any armors or weapons, just buy it off the market with your silver. Don't buy it from the blacksmith because you're literally spending more money at the blacksmith, like double. Just buy a costume, melt everything. You save half your silver. Good stuff. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all of it. Life skill tools are basically all sold out. The ones you really want are the pickaxe, which has a stupid amount of orders on it. So good luck getting that one. Lumbering axes, uh, you could probably get them within a few days if you keep an order up at all times. Alchemy tools, pretty much going to have an order on it at all times. You'll, you'll get them, but it's easier to just make them yourself. So with that said, I think that we covered all of it. Oh yeah, in terms of armor, one of these two gin vipers four hooms in helm and shoes uh same thing with kudum kudum and nuver both have the same crystals yeah i think that's it so with that said thanks so much for watching i will see you guys later and if there's other stuff you want to see me cover I do more Ackman at some point. You guys like watching me do that. I don't really know if it's fun to watch, but I gotta fix my farm soon. Why is that one at 200%? That's weird. Anyway, see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.